got Johnny Rocket, yeah. Adam McDoodleys, How's it going? Dale Anderson, hey. and of course the dreaded Drunken Diener. Hey, what's going on, Internet? It's Sunday night of all nights, and we're kicking it, about to watch a movie. Adam brought another porno over, I mean another <laughs> DVD over. Ah! Hey, what a bunch of, what a bunch of uh, yeah, hairy sweaty dudes going to watch. You know? Yeah! So what is a bunch of hairy sweaty dudes going to watch? We are going to watch a classic 80s ninja flick called Pray for Death. Whoa, is it Catholic? <laughs> well, not oh, necessarily. But... That kind of pray. Yeah, that uh, kind of pray. So, and what do you do with a sword? Uh, anyways, it's starring uh, Sho Kasugi. He was um, really big in the 80s. Uh, he kind of actually got the whole ninja craze started. So if you grew up playing uh, Ninja Gaiden or watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you have this guy to thank for it. You know, I love 1980s, uh, big VHS box, sleazy ninja movies. That's what Pray for Death was. I remember seeing this at Video Theater way back in the day on video, right next to the horror and por porno section. <laughs> and they would put it all together. You'd have the video games, you'd have the ninja movies, you'd have the horror, and then you'd have the porno. It all went together. It all went hand in hand. You must have thought, yeah, the, the people who watched this and the, the horror. <laughs> this is for the people who like weird videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those weirdos. So, you know, I'm pretty stoked to check this out. What about you guys? Uh, you guys ever seen Pray for Death? No. I guess I saw a part of it. I'm ready to jam on it. I've never seen this before. I'm ready to jam on it. I want to see a ninja movie tonight. Now, Dooklees is delivering that. Oh, uh, yeah, man. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Peep the trailer, put your eyes on the prize, and we get back. <laughs> We're going to be giving you guys our thoughts on Pray for Death. Yeah. He came to America to escape his past. You will always be a ninja. No, his wife. His children. His home and his honor must be defended. If you just want protection, why don't you go hire yourself a private detective? No ordinary man could do it alone. But this is no ordinary man. Pray for death. This has gone far enough. If we are all free to do what we like, I am free to kill those animals. Shokasugi. Shadow Warrior. Ninja, judge, and jury. Vengeance will be his. Pray for death. Please kill me! Uh, there's a lot I want to say about it, but first and foremost, let's talk to the man of the hour. Do please. What do you think of Pray for Death? Well, this is like, um... When I first saw this film, like, I mean, it, uh, it's, it's, let's just say it's cheesy, but cheesy in a very, in a really good way. Like, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's got some, you know, flaws and all that. I mean, it's got some, you know, plot holes you could drive a truck through. Uh, but, uh, you know, or, you know, I mean, like, <laughs> but, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I have to say the positive aspects sort of make up for the, the more negative ones and all that. So, um. So I don't know, I mean, like, it's just, it's also got this, you know, really dark 80s vibe at times that, you know, works in its favor, and, uh, you know, the, the villains in this movie are some, you know, real dirtbags who you just really want to see them, like, eat their just desserts and all that, which they finally do, thankfully, so, uh... Um, Spoiler alert! Yeah! <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, the movie's called Pray for Death, I mean, you know, go figure. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I mean, it's, you know, kind of a commentary because it's about, like, you know, this Japanese immigrant who's, like, you know, secretly trained as a ninja who kind of, like, goes to America with his family, starts at you know, tries to start his own business, but then kind of becomes, you know, the victim of, like, this organized crime syndicate, and he has to kind of, like, you know, fall back to his old ways and take revenge and all that, so it was a classic, you know, 
Bronson as, you know, Revenge Flint, but, you know, just done with a ninja, which, you know, works. Yeah, I liked Pray for Death. You're right. There are plot holes in it. You can just, not only just drive a truck through, you can drive a double-decker bus, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Yeah. And, um, you know, when it comes down to these ninja movies, like I said, I've watched a lot of them. Uh, this isn't my favorite. Uh, I'd have to say Revenge of the Ninja kind of is, is like the pinnacle. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to top. My, my biggest gripe with Pray for Death, I have to say, is uh, its overall plotting. Uh, I feel like there's moments to it when you're like, what the fuck shift in tone is this? Like, one moment it's like sleazy, low budget grindhouse from like the mid to late 80s. The next moment it's got this like heartfelt drama aspect to it that really like, like jangles your sense of direction and you're like, wow, that was some, you know, pretty decent acting. Uh, having not seen it before, I was able to kind of come into this fresh and be loving some cheesy, cheesy 80s ninja movies. I was all about seeing something I had managed to, you know, slip through the cracks when I was younger. So, man, it, uh, it delivered on some seriously awesome ninja action here and there, but then it was also kind of the problem of it. It was all fast and action and paced, and then it would kind of, I don't know, it felt like it was switching in between two different movies, you yeah. know, and at various points. Well, let's see, we covered most of it here. I'll agree that, yeah, the uh, pacing was terrible, the plot was all over the place. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a really awesome 80s film. My favorite part was the fact that in typical low-budget 80s action fashion, they had one song. And they played it, they played it any chance they could get. Yeah, the the intro, the montage scenes, the, the fight scene, and the outro. <laughs> hybrid because you know it's it's a ninja flick but it's also it's not like you know set in japan or it's not like you know it doesn't involve like necessarily like other ninjas it's just uh, it's kind of a fusion of like you know your, your traditional like you know revenge crime you know action flick and all that and you know with a, with a dash of ninja thrown in right right so, and it's so really it's, a dash though that's like yeah. the weird part about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> even though it's supposed to be a ninja movie right it's yeah. more of a 70s 80s american action flick. well you know in a lot of ways like you could look at it this way guys i mean like look this this man views his ninja past as kind of like something he doesn't want exposed. He doesn't want to go back to it. So he he's not necessarily wanting to go to the States like his wife does. You know, this whole like Americanized like concept to him and he you know, begrudgingly does it. So like there's like a lot of like you know like hidden meaning in, in, in that subject but at the same time like it doesn't necessarily like you know help the audience. I mean going into this like Pray for death, and you look at the cover, and the guy's got bladed arms, and you're like, oh shit, there's gonna be some fucking ninja showdowns, and like, I only count like three. Like, if I had to give Pray for Death a star count out of ten, I could probably give it a solid six and a half. What about you, Rocket? Well, wow, that's pretty similar to what I was thinking. I'm thinking a six on it. I enjoyed it. Um, it wrote. certainly had its flaws for sure, but uh, I don't know. It satisfied my need for a ninja movie tonight, so. Yeah, yeah. Give it a six out of ten, man. By you, Dougal? Yeah, I had to give it a six and a half, too. I mean, it's unfortunately its flaws prevented from being more. Like, when the pacing went slow, it was scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. almost like they rushed through the action scenes, and then you're right back to shit pacing again. Yeah. 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 Open it up. Uh, I gotta say that alcohol and uh, pizza helped this experience. <laughs> Where I could look away for a moment and come back, and I didn't feel like I missed anything. Well, there you guys have it. Well. Pray for death. Definitely a adequate ninja movie, about six and a half stars. So if you've never seen it and you've watched a shit ton of other ninja movies in your day and you're missing this one, give it a peep. You could definitely do a lot worse. And with that being said, guys, I hope we've been informed. So, until the next time.